The Calgary Black Film Festival returns for its third year, both in person and online. It brings feature-length films and Canadian-made documentaries that explore the Black experience to the Plaza Theatre, the Globe Theatre and Central Memorial Library May 26th through May 29th. Among the highlights of this year's festival is 30 young filmmakers who are part of the Being Black in Canada program presenting their short films. To tell us more about the festival is founder and president Fabian Kola. Hello, Fabian. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm glad you could join us today. Well, first off, you started off, you were an actress in Haiti before moving to Montreal, where you actually found it hard to get auditions. How did the frustration with the film and TV industry in Canada lead you to creating the Montreal International Black Film Festival? Oh, you stated it so well, um, exactly. I mean, I I always say, um, you know, it's good to be frustrated sometimes because that can be a stepping stone to progress to something different, to change, you know. And that's exactly what happened to me. And uh, I was really coming with hopes and high hopes, you know, and trying to conquer America in Canada. Mm -hmm. I was uh, young and naive and thought (laughs) that the only thing I had to do was to prove that I could act. And unfortunately, I, I did not even have that chance to even... Um, prove what I could do because I could not land these auditions due to the fact that I had the wrong skin color. And uh, sometimes I would go to French audition and I had an accent in French, an accent in English. We all do have an accent depending on where we're coming from the world, but it's always the other person that has an accent. So long story short, it's always good, as I said, to be frustrated. But the problem is you should not remain frustrated. You should use that frustration and try to turn it into something positive. And thank God I did that. And this is how we recreated the Fabian Collas Foundation, which is dedicated to supporting um, and showcasing and training the next generation of black filmmakers all over this country and abroad. And that's how we got to create the Montreal International Black Film Festival 18 years back. And today, fast forward to today, we are having about 12 festivals, both films and music around the world, including Brazil, New York City, Haiti, and of course, everywhere in Canada, including the beautiful city of Calgary, where we're celebrating the Calgary Black Film Festival now. Right. Do you think it has changed much in the past uh, 18 years? Like if you showed up today to Canada from Haiti, do you think that you'd have a better chance in finding roles in TV and film? Totally. I really believe we've made some progress everywhere in the the media landscape, because when I came here 20 years back, diversity was kind of a, what is this word? What is that? What Mm -hmm. do you mean diversity? You know, inclusion, like those words were not buzzwords or, you know, very popular at the time. So um, today everybody's talking about diversity, the importance of inclusion. Everybody's trying to do their best um, to foster diversity in the the workplace, but let's let's be serious. We're nowhere near where we should be. However, we've made some progress because today there's a problem. It's because media, cinema and television, they're losing market shares when they don't include because you have a growing population who is diverse. So when they don't see themselves reflected on screen or off screen, well, they just don't connect. And they look the other way. They go look for something else. They look for other programs. And that's how television, um, one of the reasons why television has lost a lot of grounds here in Canada as well. So um, I believe it's necessary. And I, I think today we're better off. But I hope tomorrow will be even better. So when did you feel confident that the festival could branch out to other cities, including Calgary? Um, it was really because people have uh, start following the big su- success of the Montreal International Black Film Festival, which had welcomed, uh, you know, legendary figures like Harry Belafonte, like Suleiman Sisse, like, uh, you know, Spike Lee several times, and, and then all these great, huge people uh, in the film industry that other cities also have started to request to, to ask when exactly are you going to launch in Toronto, in Halifax, in Ottawa, in Vancouver, in Calgary. And the growing demand um, really forced us 
to stop and to be like, let's focus on where there's a demand, where black filmmakers are not really well served and where the audience is thirsty for diversity because the festival, the Calgary Black Film Festival, is not just for black people. It's mainly for non-black people who are not exposed every mm-hmm. day to wonderful, amazing Canadian and international black films and stories and authentic stories. So that's also for them to come and just uh, discover new things, new stories, and then be inspired and uplifted. And of course, for black people as well, so they can reconnect with their home culture. Well, it sounds like a great opportunity for people who are interested in film but don't know a lot about uh, black filmmaking in Canada and in Calgary, too, to uh, find out more about it. Totally, totally. And then they can go on our website, calgaryblackfilm.com, and then everything I've been talking about right now is there, and uh, you guys can, you know, go through the program and then do something fantastic called buy a ticket or buy passes, so you can support this, the the, the, the movement, you can support these uh, filmmakers and everything. And what I like to say, this festival, the Calgary uh, Black Film Festival, is a necessary festival right here in Calgary. It is something that is so essential because it is to foster togetherness, it is to foster understandings, it is to create a platform for people that don't have one, um, that are not seen or, or, or heard otherwise. So this is why we're doing this festival, and it's also to strengthen the the vibrancy of this um, film industry, especially in Calgary, where um, diversity is not yet, you know, ubiquitous. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to to uh, raise the numbers of uh, you know of inclusion in in, uh, in this industry, in, in this beautiful industry, I like to say, because we do have a beautiful Canadian film and TV industry. It's just that now we have to organize ourselves and to support and 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 to encourage and value more inclusion in it. Well, thank you so much, Fabian, for joining us today and telling us about this great festival. Thank you so much to you for inviting me. That was Fabian Cola founder and president of the Calgary Black Film Festival. The festival runs May 26th until May 29th. For more information, go to calgaryblackfilm.com.